pleased to say we're now joined by Bruno Lette, Senior Fellow of the German Marshall Fund of the United States. And Bruno, simply put, have these sanctions from Western nations yesterday gone far enough? Well, I think that the sanctions package of yesterday is definitely more significant than what we saw, for instance, in 2014 when Russia annexed uh, Crimea. Um, you know, put very shortly, those sanctions of yesterday have three objectives. They will prevent anyone to do business with the self-proclaimed republics of Donetsk and Luhansk, uh, effectively isolating those territories. That's number one. Number two, uh, you know, those Russian banks uh, are targeted that can refinance uh, Russian sovereign debt. So that will prevent Russia or at least make it more difficult for Russia to raise funds to finance military campaigns, for instance, that's number two. And number three, it's about individuals in Putin's entourage uh, where asset freezes and travel bans have, have been imposed. So this is significant, but um, I think we have not seen those sanctions yet that will effectively cripple uh, the Russian economy. I think the West has chosen for a gradual approach and still keeping some options in reserve in case Vladimir Putin wishes to escalate even further. Bruno, how far does Putin want to go and what would ultimately stop him? Well, this is the one million dollar question, of course. Will those sanctions prevent Russia to escalate further? I think that we need to understand that Russia is prepared to pay a cost for its behavior in Ukraine. I think, you know, the Kremlin has probably also anticipated some of those sanctions. Uh, it's also important to understand that uh, Russia's national wealth funds is at a record high estimated at around $171 billion. So this also gives the Kremlin a cushion, a, a war chest uh, to uh, wage a military campaign in, in Ukraine. Uh, this is important to understand. Now, I don't think we will see a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. I think this is even a cost that is too high for the Kremlin. But uh, I'm afraid that we will see Russian attempts to permanently destabilize Ukraine, uh, trying to erode the country's uh, social, social, economic, and political structures. Uh, so I think we will see further targeted uh, military aggression. Think about shelling in the Donbas region, uh, supported by hybrid actions such as cyber attacks. So I don't think this is the end of what we've seen uh, right now. I think the standoff between Russia and the West will continue for a little while.